so today I'm going to be doing my 2015 Black Friday shopping haul and I bought quite a lot so this video is going to be a while. Take a snack, grab a drink, we're going to be here for at least 10 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to get started off with Aries and from Aries I got this blanket scarf. That's the only thing I got from there this year. But that's what it looks like. It's really nice and blue and with pastel-y purples and pastel blues and it has like white kind of stripes all over it. So basically it's just like a plaid blanket scarf but it's really freaking soft. I don't know what it's made of but it's like it's not Sherpa. It's not fleece. It's just so super soft that I wish I can like shove this over the camera so you guys can like feel it but it's so it's so nice. It's one of those things where you want to like rub your face on it but I like it. This thing is beautiful. I just haven't worn it yet because I didn't wash it and so I'm gonna have to wash it right after this video. Moving on to Bath & Body Works. I used to work there. I remember one year when I was working here, I had to work on Black Friday and it was so horrible because the entire store was like filled with people. People all over the place and I was like hiding behind the counters like you know where the cash wrap is because it was so crazy out there. Thank God I was a cash wrap person so I could like hide behind my counter but that place is insane. Anyways, I only went to get um, hand sanitizer. I really like these. Do you see the sheep right here? Anyways, I went to get this because I hand sanitize my hands like every five seconds. It's kind of bad because it's drying my hands out, but I mean, I'd rather my hands be dry than to be dirty all the time. And then I went to get these little garbage cans. Do they not look like garbage bins? But I went to get these. I have five of them. I don't know where the other three are. I think one's in my purse and the other one... The other two must have been like stolen by my mom. I know you took it. I know you took it. But yeah, that was all that I got. I got soap too, but that was pretty boring and it's all over my sinks in the bathroom. So I didn't feel like getting my soaps out just to be like, hey, got some soap. So we're going to move on to the interesting things, which is more clothes related. Alright, so this year I actually went to Brandon Melville and it was pretty calm and empty in there, which is surprising. But that's nice because it's safer for us to shop there. I always get trampled in, in Brandy. It's kind of crazy. But I got a bunch of stuff on sale. And so the first thing I got is this little tee. So it kind of looks like a baseball tee kind of style. It is not fully long sleeve. It just ends right around your elbows. But my favorite part about this is the little straps in the front. Well, not the straps. They kind of look like shoelaces that tie across your chest, which is really popular right now. And I just wanted to try clothes that has these little laces in front. I don't have boobs, as you can probably see. Um, they're not that big. They're not that great. So I don't know how I'm going to end up wearing this because if I wear a bra, you're going to see it inside of it. But I don't know. Like, sometimes I wish like I had really nice round big melons so it looks nice, but uh, I don't have that. So we're going to have to work something out. The next thing that I got is this really deep v-neck tank top and it just looks like this. It's ribbed so it has little stripes going down. But it's really cute especially if you wear it with high-waisted jeans under like a blazer or something like that. That would be a really nice layering piece. The last thing I got is one of these t-shirt thingies. So it just basically looks like your regular average black shirt but it has a little alien on the pocket and I just, I liked it. Something about it clicked with me so I got it. The last thing that I got from Brandy Melville is this little bralette. Just looks like this and it crisscrosses in the back which is my favorite part. And when I say little bralette, I really do mean it's little because it's basically just two pieces of triangles like right over your boobs. But not to worry, nothing's going to be falling out, nothing's going to be spilling out only because my rack is not going to be in there much because there's not much of a rack to begin with. So yeah, that's the story of my life. So moving on to my favorite store, Sara. I love everything about it. It's so sophisticated and everything is so classy. I just love that place. Except for the price range because everything that I like is usually like over $50. And I'm not sure if I want to pay more than $50 for like one piece of clothing. So I don't know. But I went there because they were having a 30% off everything. Which is kind of crazy because I didn't even know Zara was going to have their sales. But I picked up some leggings because Zara leggings are the best. They shape your butt and they shape your thighs. Everything about it just looks beautiful on you. So the first pair of leggings that I picked up looks like this. It has two zippers down the side and it's just full black all the way down. It's going to look really nice with boots, um, with like a leather jacket. Everything's going to look so cool in them. I just can't wait to wear these. But again, I didn't wash them yet because I just shoved them in the corner of my room. So yeah. The last pair of leggings that I picked up looks like this. My favorite pair because of these two zippers. Something about them just reminds me of my mom when she was younger. 
like this would be the stuff that she wore I don't know it just makes me feel like I'm closer to my mom because that is exactly what she wore when she was younger except she would wear jeans instead of leggings but it makes me feel like I'm closer to her you know what I mean it's weird and then the second one that I got looks like this it's really plain just all black but on the neckline and also down the side it has these like really shiny I don't know what you call it. It's like a really shiny, like, lace-looking material. So even though the shirt's really plain, it looks sophisticated and it looks like something that would be expensive. But it wasn't. I think this only cost about, like, $15. But the next place is Urban Outfitters. I went in specifically looking for their fleece leggings or stockings. I wanted to wear, you know, dresses in the winter or skirts in the winter, but it's really cold where I live. I don't live in California, so our winters aren't, like, 70 degrees. Our winters are, like... 20 30 degrees so it's pretty cold but i know places like wisconsin because i have a really good friend that lives in wisconsin and yeah they're in the negatives so i'm not complaining about my weather but i got these because you know i still wanted to wear dresses and skirts and look pretty for christmas so they're fleece lined and they're really soft on the inside because of the fleece but it'll be really warm also i work in a hospital so if anyone knows anything about scrubs scrubs are really thin and if you're going like to work in the winter, you're going to be really cold. So I thought that I could also wear these under my scrubs. So I got those. The first pair is just plain black and it has your like toe section on it. So it covers your entire foot. And then the second pair looks more like leggings because they're footless. And they also have these little like ribbed patterns on them. So it'll look a lot fancier. Alright, so the last few clunky items that I have in this Urban Outfitters bag is these frames I got four of these because I thought they would be really cute as stocking stuffers and so that's what they look like they're all glittery so they kind of look like snow globes except they're squared and you could just put in your favorite Polaroid picture inside so I thought that was pretty cute so the next place that I went to was Abercrombie Kids I went into the kids section instead of the adult section because it's a lot cheaper and the things in there are a lot cuter than what you would find in the adult store which doesn't really make any sense to me, but it works well because it's cheap and it's cute. But, got this. It's a cable knit sweater with some like crochet lace on the bottom. I really liked it because of the texture and the sweater itself is really soft. So I decided to get that. And then the last thing that I got is just this really nice plain shirt that has Mickey Mouse on it. I guess it's a collaboration with Disney and Abercrombie, but... It was really cute, so I got that. And it was on sale on top of being on sale, so this ended up being about like $10, which is not bad at all. Alright, moving on to Bloomies. I only got one thing from Bloomies, and it is this bag. So that's what the this is what the dust bag looks like, by the way. It's by Folia and Karina. I don't know the name of this bag, it's just a brand that I know. But I think it's really cute. The shape of it, I like the handle. I like how you can also have a shoulder strap or a body strap if you wanted to. And this bag also folds over if you wanted to use it this way. But I'm probably just going to hook it onto the elbow of my arm. Just color, I think, every, it's just, you know what, I like everything about this. So I got it. It was on sale on top of being on sale already. So it was a really good deal. The last place that I went to was Hollister. And I only have three things in there. But the first two things are leggings because I'm a lazy person. But these look like really nice leggings. They're not like yoga leggings where your entire underwear or your butt is like hanging out of it. They're actually like kind of like jogger sweatpants slash leggings. And they're fleece lined so they're going to be really warm in the winter. But it looks like this. It's just plain black and it has stripes and it says Hollister on the side. And then my next one is plain gray. And it has a little like embellishment on the side of your thigh. So yeah. And then the last item that I got is just this little... Fox fur snood, which my dog is so interested in the scarf, he keeps biting it. He, he, no. This is what happens every time I film. Anyways, so yeah, it's fake fur and it's really soft, just looks like this. I thought it was something different, I don't have a scarf like this, so I decided to play around with it. It was $14, so it wasn't too expensive. So yeah, that was it of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to film part two as soon as I get all my orders online. Um, they're currently still coming in the mail, so I'm going to have like little stragglers here and there. But as soon as I get everything, I'm going to post the video up and then I'll put the link down below or somewhere in the screen so you guys can go click it and watch it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!